Right, so we've got a, another new gun to look at today. Uh, we've just taken a look at the, the Daystate Griffin, which is a, a kind of like a top-end PCP. This is something totally different. This is another new gun uh, from Brocock, the Brocock Compato. Now, I've, I've heard a little bit about this gun, but I've never had the opportunity to see it up close or to hold it, and I don't really know much about it, but that's what Tony's for. Thank you very much. Okay, so what we have here is a Brocock Compato. Daystate wanted to get into the middle market, uh, but it didn't want to bring its higher market rifles down to middle market. It felt it was, the brand was secure where it was. So two years ago, it bought Brocock, and it spent the last two years developing essentially this rifle. And we believe this is really something special. Uh, whereas the, uh, the Griffin is a target rifle in the Brocock brand and retails at £1,500, this rifle, pretty much made by the same people, uh, retails at £589. Oh, wow. Yeah. But for that £589, you get something really quite special. You get a slingshot hammer system, a uh, revised mm. version, uh, really taken out of that Huntsman mm. Eagle. Uh, you have a 10 shot rotary magazine. You have a straight pull uh, stainless steel bolt assembly. You have a fully synthetic, beautiful synthetic, proper piece of casting here, mm. synthetic stock. 150cc air tube, uh, very similar to the one on the Huntsman, mm. and pressure gauge in at the end, and a shrouded barrel. It's also quite unique in so much as the action has been brought back into the stock. Mm. So you really get the benefits of a rifle, but in a carbine length. Yes. And that carbine length makes the gun handy. It weighs, you know, it's uh, under seven pounds all up weight, whatever that is in kilos, and uh, you, you've got a, a very handy rifle. Adjustable butt pad, adjustable trigger, beautiful trigger, you can try that in a minute. And uh, even it's got a, a rail as well. Pick a tinny rail cool. for a bipod, or yes. in fact, it's drilled already for a sling swivel stud at the rear, okay. and you can put a pick a tinny stud, a sling swivel stud onto the, onto the adapter at the front. Okay. Fabulous little rifle, it even comes with a half inch UNF to put an additional silencer on if you want. Does the silencer come standard with the gun it's in the US? It's an optional extra. Um, okay. It's an extra US and in, uh, in Europe, but uh, you know, you okay. can put anything you like on it, half inch UNF. Yes. This one's got a little, um, what they call a Milbro hug it. So yes. it's a uh, hug it design size, so quite, quite effective. Yes. But it makes it longer. Very nice. Okay. And um, I see that the magazine looks very similar to a Daystate magazine. Yes, it is. It's, it works pretty much in the same way. Uh, it's one sided rather than changeable, which the Daystate one is. Yes. And it runs off a, a very clever indexing system that works off the bolt face. Uh, so okay. it's all very neat. You can actually load single shot as well. Mm. Uh, there isn't a single shot tray for the moment, it wouldn't take five minutes to make one, it's a very simple thing to do. You've got a fair, fair amount of space in there. You've got a lot of space and you can put a tray in and get in quite easily. You can actually do it without a tray as well. Mm. You could load it single shot, uh, but it comes with a 10 shot magazine. Okay, uh, last question, uh, is it available with a wooden stock? Not at the moment, no. Okay. Uh, three calibers, 177, 22 and 25 caliber. Okay. Uh, wow. And probably uh, it's only about 30 foot pounds of energy for the export markets. Obviously okay. for South African 22 or yes. 5.5, should we yes. say, is the, is the one you're going to go for. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah. And what is this over here? Is that a, a power well, that's a Good point, that's power a power adjuster. adjuster. It's a three-way power adjuster. Low, oh, wow. medium okay. and high. Uh, each one is, is indexed so it doesn't move. So, so, it's, it, yeah. so it's got like positive clicks? Positive clicks. Okay. And high power, say 30 foot pound, 20 foot pounds on the medium setting and probably around about 15 on the low power setting. And what kind of shot, shots can, what number of shots can you get out of a, like a 30 foot pound 30 foot rifle, for example? Around 40 shots. That's very impre impressive. So you, you're basically you're paying for a, a, a mid-range PCP. You're not paying a lot of, not paying tens amounts of money, but you're getting the benefit of like a slingshot hammer system that makes the gun extremely efficient as well. So that's quite a huge selling point, actually. That's right. It's a, it's a British-made product. Yes. Uh, it's, you know, you've got all the quality and reassurance that you get from coming from our group and uh, you've got a beautiful rifle and probably ideal for the South African market, particularly yes. with synthetic stock. Yes. Right, so that's the, the Brocock Compatter. Uh, I'm interested to see uh, this, more of this gun in the future because just even hearing about it now, it seems like a, a good gun to get, especially if you want to get a, an entry-level PCP, but an entry-level gun that's going to last you a long time, not a cheap gun that you're going to have to upgrade soon. Uh, this is probably something that you'll definitely want to look at. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.